What's going on, Maz, Vab Party people? Hopefully everybody's doing well today. Happy Friday. In this video, I'm going to be going over a nice arithmetic reasoning practice test question. And this is a great reminder that on Monday, coming up on December 9th, we're going to be going over a brand new arithmetic reasoning practice test. So that's what Monday and Tuesday's class is going to be about. So don't forget, you can register for free and you can find that uh, link in the description of this video or the link is in my bio. But again, we have a free practice test review session coming up again on Monday. So don't forget to register, show up and raise that score. So let's go ahead and take care of this one here. The first thing we always want to do is read that question first. So again, give yourself the chance to understand all of the information that's being presented. Here we see how many minutes will it take the second messenger to catch up to the first messenger. So from that, I see that we're looking for a time interval. How many minutes? right there. So how long will something take? And specifically, the time that we're looking for, what it's regarding is this second messenger catching up to the first messenger. So really what I care about writing right now is the catch up time, the time it'll take to catch up, right? So with that said, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move forward and read the information and see how it relates to the second messenger catching up to the first one. So a bicycle messenger starts their journey from downtown at 12 miles per hour. 20 minutes later, a second messenger leaves from the same starting point, traveling along the same route at 15 miles an hour. How many minutes will it take to catch up? Okay, so this is a classic distance rate time catch up problem. Now there are a couple of things that we're gonna need to know in order to set up our distance equals rate times time equation. So remember, when it comes to setting this up, what we really want to consider is that, hey, we have to be consistent. We must be consistent. And what that means is, if we're looking for the time it'll take to catch up, we need to insert the distance that we need to catch up and the rate at which we're catching up. So does that make sense there? Again, the formula needs to be consistent. You can't just throw the 12 in here or the 15 in here. It's really not like that. It has to be consistent. So. With that said, let's go ahead and understand the pieces here. How can we get the catch up rate? Well, the catch up rate, it's going to be the difference between the 12 miles an hour and the 15 miles an hour. The reason is because if you have one person going 15 miles an hour this way and the other person going again, 12 miles an hour, same direction, the difference, the gap right there, that gap is how quickly we're catching up. So when you take those two values, 15 miles an hour and 12 miles an hour, the second messenger is catching up at a rate of three miles an hour. So 15 minus 12 gives you three miles per hour. And again, that's the catch up rate. So we have that. We're good to go there. The hardest part about this is really gonna be determining the distance. How far do we have to catch up? So let me go ahead and let me go ahead and do that. Perfect. Okay. So what's that distance that we're trying to catch up for? You know, what is that going to be? Well, what we need to understand is how far did that first messenger go before the second messenger started writing? And we have that information right here. We see that 20 minutes pass right there. 20 minutes pass in terms of the first messenger going 12 miles an hour. So that distance to catch up be careful here. You might think that it's the rate 12 miles an hour times 20 minutes as the time, but no, it's because, because think about it, 12 miles an hour, 20 minutes, miles per hour, minutes. That doesn't make sense, right? So what we need to do is we need to convert the minutes, 20 minutes into hours. And how do we convert minutes to hours? Well, we will go ahead and divide by 60 because remember there are 60 minutes in one hour. So once we do that, we see that the minutes cancel out. So we have like a little mini, a mini problem regarding uh, unit conversions within this distance rate time question. And that's what makes it a slight challenge. But once we do that, we get 20 over 60, which simplifies dividing by 20 on top and bottom to one over three. So instead of multiplying by 20 minutes, we're multiplying by one third of an hour. And again, that was necessary because we're multiplying miles per hour 
times hours. It has to be consistent. So 12 divided by three is what we're looking at, and that will be four miles. That is the time, or excuse me, that is the distance that the second messenger is behind once he starts pedaling. So there we are. We have four miles. We have three miles per hour as the catch up uh, rate there. And then we're gonna find that time. Once we divide both sides by three, boom, cancels out. And that's gonna give us four thirds of an hour. And that's gonna be our time. But clearly that's not sufficient enough because our final answer is in minutes. So we had to take one more step to convert four thirds of an hour into minutes. So we can look at this in a couple of different ways, but the easiest way really is gonna be converting hours into minutes. To go from hours to minutes, we multiply by 60 instead of dividing by 60. So knowing your unit conversions, being fluid with that, it's gonna be all too important. So four thirds multiply by 60, and that can be 60 over one. That's gonna end up being four times 60 is 240 over three, which will give us 80 minutes. And there we are. There's our final answer. That's the time it'll take the second messenger to catch up to the first. And that's gonna be answer choice C, my math party people. So let me know in the chat box if that helps you out. But don't forget, again, on Monday coming up, we have an entire practice test review that we're gonna be really excited to go over all 16 questions on Monday and Tuesday. Registration is free for the Monday class, so make sure to click the link in the description of this video or in my bio or if you're having any trouble, shoot me a text again at 567-698-8867. I've got your back, my math party people. As always, I'm Coach Anderson. I love y'all. Ace the ASVAB and continue getting one day better, one day at a time. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.